Cozy and Country here in Partnership with Cozy Owl. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make candles with an embedded shape. Let's get going. So let's see what we've got here. I have 800 grams of the Eco Soya Wax. These are my little containers. We've gone for the silver tins. We've also gone for cream and pink dyes. I have 50 ml of peony petals fragrance oil. These are my wicks. We've gone for the TCR wicks. Also my wick centering tools, our mold, and we're gonna be using the little flower one. And I have a little pouring jug, my normal wax melter, and my electric weighing scale. Now I'm going to measure out the full 800 grams of the Eco Soya wax. This is going to cover me for three candles and also the little melts that we're going to place on top. I'll probably have a little bit extra, but that's fine because I can always remelt it and use it in another candle. So pop your wax onto a medium heat and just let it melt all the way through. Keep coming back and giving it a good stir around and even chopping it up a little bit just for easy melting. While the wax is melting, I'm going to crack on with wicking my containers. So take your wick and a little glue dot and peel off one side and stick it to the metal base of the wick, making sure it's fully stuck down. Peel off the other side and get it as central as possible into the container. And push it down just to make sure it's fully stuck. Then use your wick centering tool just to get it nice and central and to also keep the wick in place. You don't want it moving when you're pouring your wax. Now, my wax has fully melted, so I'll give it a quick stir through and take it off the heat. So, I'm just going to double check what temperature we're at with my wax thermometer. I want it to be somewhere around the 60 to 65 degrees mark so that I can start adding my dye, but I know it's going to be over that because this wax melts best at 75 degrees. So, we'll just double check where we're at now, and if it's too hot, I'll take it off. So we're at about 70 degrees there, so I'll take it off for 10 minutes just to cool down. And now we have cooled down, it's just under 60 degrees, which is probably a little bit too cool. So I'm just popping it back onto a low heat and I'll give it a really good stir around just to try and warm it back up before I start adding my dye. So ready to add my cream dye, I'm just going to add the whole bag. We're going for it, we're really going for it here. So the whole bag has gone into the 800 grams of wax and we'll give it a really good stir around making sure it's warming up nicely too and the dye will melt all the way through the wax nicely. So I'm happy with how much I've mixed this. So I'm just going to grab my pouring jug and give it a quick warm up over the hob. I prefer to warm it up because I don't want to start splitting my wax up. Um, pouring it into the pouring jug and it's setting almost straight away so I'll give it a quick warm and I'm going to measure out about 200 grams of the melted wax uh, this is going to be used for my shapes so if I just measure out 200 grams here and then I can start adding my pink dye now I know that I have already put cream dye into this but adding the pink as well I'm going to add about half of the bag and it'll just give the shapes a really good depth so they will be really pink and they will be completely different to the base color of the candle which is what I want so don't worry about mixing your colors it's absolutely fine and um, so just give it a really good stir through because this wax is nice and hot so I don't need to put it back on the heat just now so I'll give it a really good stir through and just make sure that it's all melted and once it is, I'm going to add about 10 millilitres of the fragrance oil. Uh, this is absolutely perfect for this measurement of wax. Uh, the Eco Soya wax will take up to around 12%, but we're not going that far with this. Um, so I've just put in 10 millilitres into the 200 grams of wax. And now that's all stirred through, I'm going to come back to the main bit of wax and just add the rest of the peony petals uh, fragrance oil. So we will have around 40 millilitres of the fragrance oil left and that will be going into 600 grams of wax. So I'll just double check that the, the wax has not cooled down too much because with this Eco Soya wax you want to be adding your fragrance as close to the pouring temperature as possible and the best temperature to be pouring this wax at is around 60 degrees. So we'll just double check that we're not too far over that at the moment. So 
so taking it off the heat we are absolutely spot on with 60 degrees there so I'm ready to add my fragrance oil give it a good stir through for about a minute and then I can get it all poured into the containers for the first pour so just adding the rest of the fragrance oil in here the whole bottle goes in and then I'll give it a really really good stir through so just make sure you're stirring gently for about a minute here just so that you can get a good consistent fragrance all the way through the wax before pouring and now for the main event we are going to start our first pour for the candles so just pour part way up I'm leaving at least a couple of inches from the top of the container uh, this is because I'll need plenty of room to pop my shapes on get them all in position and then do another pour to embed the shape so get your candles poured initially and leave them for at least an hour just so that they're nice and solid here uh, and then i'm also going to be pouring my shapes i've double checked the temperature and this wax is also about 60 degrees so it's the perfect temperature to be pouring at and i'll just get all my shapes done I'm also going to be leaving my shapes to set for at least an hour as well, around the same time as I'm going to be leaving the candles, just so that they can be nice and solid and I know they're not going to break when I start popping them out of the moulds um, because this wax is quite soft and it is still a container wax. So just give them plenty of time to set properly before you start playing with them. Now I'm all set, I'm going to take off my wick centering tools and that'll give me plenty of room to be able to start positioning my flowers. So I'm just going to pop them out of the moulds here and I'm going to use three in each candle. Uh, now I don't have enough flowers here just because there weren't enough in the mould for me. Um, so I will be remelting my leftover wax and pouring another flower. So don't worry, they will all be the same. Um, so I'm just positioning them where I want them um, they're getting a nice spread over the candle there um, so I'll get them all positioned before doing my next pour now I have remelted my wax and I'm going to pour just a little bit into each candle obviously leaving the one that's only got two flowers in pour away from the shapes because you don't want to be melting on top of them you just want to embed them into the candle and then leave them overnight to set properly and uh, once i've left mine i'm going to come back and trim my wicks so i'm going to trim my wicks to around five millimeters which is the perfect burning measurement as well the flame shouldn't be too high there so i'll just give them a good trim and you'll also be pleased to know that i did manage to finish my other candle as well and there you have it your embedded shape candles